I want to share with you five specific video ideas. You can record these or you can edit these or you can do them live. You can do a simple Facebook Live just on your cell phone. That's the easiest thing to do if that's what you want. Or you can check out a tool called Switcher Studio. This is what I used at my chamber to do our Facebook Live ribbon cuttings. I still did these live on my cell phone on the spot. You can also use a desktop for other video types. But I like to do these for our ribbon cuttings because it allowed me to add our logos live. And I would have a branded ribbon cutting logo. I would put the logo of the business we were at, and I was also able to get it sponsored and put a sponsor logo on it. Switcher Studio also allows you to add different camera angles from a different cell phone, and it also allows you to add in recorded videos in your live. So I could go to an event, do a quick walkthrough on my cell phone, save it, and just have it ready. So as they were talking about their business, when we were interviewing them at the beginning of the ribbon cutting, I could actually just hit the button and we were still hearing them talk live, but it was a video on screen of me walking through their business. Switcher Studio also allows you to cross post and do multiple streaming at the same time. This means you can be live on multiple platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube at the same time. So if you're ready to try it out, you can check out their free two-week trial. And if you do like it, use code IZZY10 for 10% off of any plan you choose. That being said, here are the five specific video ideas. The first one I like to call, here's the clear. Now our local government would have a live stream public press conference. And honestly, I did not understand a word they said. Not at all. And I would watch the whole thing. So what I made our CEO do was to watch the thing and then do a very quick, quick, here's the clear five minute video where she just re-explained what they told us. And she put it in layman's terms. She might've expanded upon any examples of how this could impact us as individual or businesses. So just clearing up any misinformation, any local information, anything that you think is important to your community that maybe they just don't understand. The next is called a dirt alert. And honestly, I, I forget which chamber we stole this from, but I love it. This is when you physically go down to wherever they're doing construction and moving dirt. You know you're getting this call all the time in the chamber office of, hey, what's the construction for? Hey, do you know if they're building a new Walmart or if they're doing this or that? And if you can find out the answer, the backdrop of the construction or the moving dirt is really great just for you to be live and on the scene like, hey, we're getting this call at the chamber office. This is what it is. We're here on location. This is what they're building. Any information that you can share. And then if you can't, just go ahead and say that. Like, we can't tell you what it is yet. Or, hey, we don't know this part yet, but this is what we do know. Save yourself a few calls and serve your community the information they already want. Next is interviews. And again, I really like Switcher Studio for this because you can switch to different screens. You can also put up different logos and even like the newsreel at the bottom where it has the word scrolling. And many of you are already doing this, so great job, keep it up. This is just simply interviewing your business members, letting them say, hey, this is who we are, this is what we're doing, sharing any behind the scenes, any great, fun, interesting information that you can get out there about your members. Next is going to be monthly or weekly updates, whatever frequency that you think you can kind of commit to. An example of this is I really like the Sandusky Chamber of Commerce out of Ohio. Theirs look really polished, like they're in a newsroom. It's beautiful. But even just getting on your webcam or your cell phone, you can regurgitate the same information you already have in your email newsletter or even kind of tease some things you don't quite have on the website that you know are going to happen. You're just giving the same information, but in a different format for those people that prefer video or audio. And then my last video idea is super great for social media, especially with TikTok trending on any social platform having short form videos. And those are quick updates. So instead of the longer monthly update, that might be five or 10 minutes, having just one quick update of like, hey, we just thought you should know, or hey, we're getting ready for this live event, and maybe you have everybody setting up the tents behind you, especially if you kind of already got a phone call, so you know at least somebody's interested in it. Save yourself some time, take the one-on-one -on -one conversations you're having, and find ways to share them one-to-many. And I just think video is a great outlet for that.